Hello! Welcome to the Island of Sodor. Thomas and Friends 47 is brought to you by the premier Thomas online retailer, KaikiStore.com. Get the best ranges at the best prices today. And don't forget to use code 12TF47 to save 12% off your next order. For new and existing customers, that's 12TF47 to save 12%. <laughs> All aboard for a big adventure! Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at my custom Sodor fuel tanker. Now, I wanted to make something that looked like the model series, so I took some black paint and um, just a little bit of it and smudged it along the side to make it look like oil stains, and underneath the cap I removed that dome and put orange rust, so it looks like it's rusting at the cap. I also painted some rust along the sides as well. And then here is the front of the car. You'll see again those oil stains, especially from the bottom where oil hits the base and then bounces back up. And you can see the rust is sporadic across the side. And you'll see the tanker there was fading, so I put a little bit more oil on there to make it look like it's really been through a lot. Here's the back of the car, and again you'll see rust. And this car is based on pictures of the Sodora fuel tanker car, uh, so that rust and all these details are meant to re replicate that. Here's a look at the top, again you'll see that orange rust peeking out from underneath the cap there. And then here's the bottom, which is unpainted there. Alright, so all in all, what do I think of this custom? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. However, I, these little fuel tankers are some of my favorite cars, and I just could not bring myself to paint one that was in good condition. And then Kaiki came along, and I found this uh, tanker that was in okay condition. It, like I said, it had a lot of wear and tear on it. Um, it was leaning slightly, the coupler was damaged, and there was uh, fading on the side of the tanker. And I decided to pick that tanker up and do this to it, you know, make it look weathered and kind of fit that style that we saw in the show. And I'm so glad that I did. I love it so much, I actually want to make more. Um, and the cool thing about this is it looks great on its own, but it really pops when you add it to more detailed engines and more detailed rolling stock. So when I add this along to my custom cars like you see here, it just feels right at home and really brings you into that classic Thomas television series and even the CGI series. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think about this custom in the comments below and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.